sleeve gastrectomy surgery in Mexico. Experience interview by Medical Tourism Corporation of Cerro Salgado of El Paso, Texas, who visited Juarez, Mexico for this procedure. Sarah and her husband, Tony, share their conquest over obesity. Following Sarah's success, her mother also opted for the same procedure. My name is Tony Salgado. This is my wife, Sarah Salgado. Um, we're trying to do this to help other people, uh, give them a little bit of what we went through, um, just to help other people understand what this type of surgery is, what, how your life is going to change, how different things can be. Uh, and I'm how... 32 years old, and yeah, well, I'm a salesperson. I deal with uh, you know people all the time, all day. Um, we work six days a week, and we're just, we can say normal. <laughs> well, I was having a lot of problems with my health. Uh, my back was hurting, my knees, uh, my feet. I was tired all the time. Um, I have a little bit of a low self-esteem. Uh, self I didn't used to go out or especially alone. I used to always have to be with my husband or my son. Like, uh, I used to call myself I wanted to be a housewife, but it wasn't like that. It just, I didn't want it to go out. I didn't like to all. go to the movies because I didn't fit on the chairs. And you know, if you wanted to order, you know, if, like for me, walking to the movies with a popcorn or soda was very uncomfortable for me. That's one of the things I didn't do. I used to, if I go to the movies, I used to go up, sit down, and not move at all. Um, I didn't like to go to parties because I knew I had to go buy clothes, and I could never find any clothes. Uh, always wearing dark clothes, black. You know how they say black makes you look small, not true. She was so. always conscious of what other people thought. And it was to the point where I would hug her and I would have this much space left. I would not be able to hug my wife completely. Um, she was always in a bad mood. We started to see that we did start getting on each other's nerves because I'm not a house person and she loved to be at home. And every time that I invited her to go do something, she never wanted to go. And that's where the problem started. We couldn't go to my son's um, PTA meetings or anything at school because she didn't want to be around people. She would get panic attacks if she would be around other people. And she has um, colonitis, uh, gast gastritis. And we have been seeing uh, Dr. Natera for, I believe, three years. And it was a constant thing. It was every other two weeks, every three weeks. And uh, it got to the point where we decided to ask, is there anything else that we can do to prevent this? Because it started getting very, very constant. And that's when he decided to ask, to, to tell us about the, the gastric sleeve syndrome. And um, we decided to research it a little bit, see what the complications was, see what everything was. And it ended up being that it was too hard. I mean, my doctor, Dr. Natera, he used to go to see me. Like, every time he had a chance, he went to see me how I was doing. You know, he checked everything. He, uh, he talks to the nurses. And... Um, after the surgery, we started to notice change after the month. Um, she lost, I believe, like 30 pounds within the first month. Um, you can totally see that she started getting energy back and started seeing how actually there is another life besides your house it, it has changed our life yes um well when i used to be overweight of course no mirrors at all everything the mirrors had to be from you know from here up um, if i pass through a mirror or you know a window that you can see yourself i never look at it at all and now i I go through it and I can't believe it's me. I had to go back and see myself again. You know, people stare because I do that. 
but I, I I I like the way I look now. Most important thing, I like the way I feel. Like now I, I do like to go out. I now I say yes to you know to parties and to cookouts and to you know to go with friends and with family. Um, I have a 16 year old son that I didn't used to have his friends come to my house because I felt very uncomfortable. Now, you know, it's we're friends, you know, and I like to be around him and I like to be around his friends and, you know, I like the way their moms, like my friend's moms, look at me. Like, they look at me and they can't believe I have a 16-year-old son because of the way I look and the way I feel and the way I, I act around them now. It's just funny how from a size 24, she went to a size 8. You kind of catch eight. yourself when you do laundry. How the clothes, you used to see in clothes this big, to clothes this big. It's the same, basically the same size that my son is right now. Mm -hmm, exactly. And, and you're like, no way this is going to fit. You know, even when, you, when we go on vacations and we do our luggage, we used to take a big bag, you know, now we take a, a small one for me. Because I was, I wasn't looking at myself in the mirror to see how I was looking. I was like, oh, you know, today I don't have a headache. And then another day and another week, I'm like, you know what? My feet feel better. They're not, you know, I can walk a little bit more. And my back starting to, to it was like, it took me two months to feel good about my feet. Then, I mean, two months. From you know, from five to eight years waiting for that moment, you can't believe it. You, I, I, right now, I still get up and I don't believe that it. it's me. That already, I had never been this small ever, ever, ever. I'm 32 years old, and you know, people when they see me with my son, he's 16. The first thing that they is, is that your brother? I'm like, no, that's my son. Uh, I've been working on the same place for, I believe it's been 14 years. And people that know me, they can't believe it. They see me and they, they can't believe it's me. They, they say they recognize me because of my voice. Or, or at like six months ago, they told me they recognized me because I used to wear glasses, you know, and they used to say, you know what? Is, is, is it you or do you have a sister that was a little bit overweight or, you know, and, and they ask me like that, and a lot of people don't ask me, they ask my friends. You know, is that the same girl who used to work here? Or? And it wasn't even like that. Is that the same little that, bad girl uh, that yeah, used to like, work in the front? Uh huh. My mom waited. I don't think she waited to see what would happen. I think she started to see that people were saying, oh, you know, you're looking good. You're losing, a, you're losing a lot of weight and your face looks younger and cleaner and when my mom started to see that because she, we worked together, um, she decided to do the surgery. But she also decided to do it because she had high blood pressure mm -hmm. and cholesterol mm -hmm. and it was pills every day and it was going to the doctor every week mm -hmm. and basically all of that's been gone. Yeah, and There's she no also, pressure. she always used to be also in a bad mood. I think she was worse than me. Now she's different. She, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, but she used to go shopping because she wanted to make herself happy. Now she goes shopping because she is happy. I asked my husband to hug me because I like to feel that with one hand, he can, you know, hug me all the way when he couldn't. No, that's the thing that I always... Yeah, you have to have patience, you have to have support, you have to have the will to be able to do this. You gotta want it. If you don't want it, it is not gonna give you the results that you want. It is not gonna... I wouldn't recommend it to somebody if I hadn't gone through it first. Mm -hmm. And I've gone through it twice. With my mother and my own daughter. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates medical care at some of the best hospitals in the world. Visit www.medical tourismco.com for more information and to request a free quotation.